night, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I mean, over the top beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this gorgeous, it is 420, it is Thursday afternoon, April 20th, 2023, I doubt you can see this on the windshield, I am chronicling the collapse of a planet, this is, as far as I know, this is the first bug that has hit my windshield since I pulled out of Chickamauga, Georgia. Three hours, maybe between 150 to 200 miles ago. Uh, drove across uh, on the northwest corner of Georgia. Then I came into Chattanooga, Tennessee heading east on 64 uh, and came into North Carolina passed through got into North Carolina I have gone through two national forests that's right in Tennessee I went a long stretch along the Ocoee River in Tennessee through that national forest, two more pieces of national forest in North Carolina, and I am pretty sure this is my first and only insect on this gorgeous southern spring day. And uh, don't know whether you saw it there right when I started this rant. 30 seconds ago looked like a dead skunk in the middle of the road as the song says I think it was a dead skunk it could have been somebody's cat uh, on the yellow line of the road but along with the insects uh, I am pretty sure that is the first road kill I have seen Day, uh, the first dead mammal or bird or reptile uh, that I have seen in the road uh, on this gorgeous spring day when love is in the air and all of these animals should be out uh, looking for love in all the wrong places there in the middle of US 64 but I am pretty sure that is the first roadkill I have seen. I, uh, and I haven't even seen a dead deer, which I don't understand. I've been hearing these reports from North Carolina how the uh, how the white-tailed deer population is just reaching plague levels now. Texas, where I came from, where the deer really are in uh, complete plague phase overdrive, the, the roads in Texas are littered with dead deer. Uh, it's like every mile you're going past another dead deer, but other than deer, uh, I, I mean, in Texas, it's, you know, I I never saw. I was in Texas all together from before and after. I was in Texas for about seven weeks, driving hundreds, if not thousands, of miles on the little back roads, mostly back and forth between Canyon Lake, Texas, and Austin. And just like, uh, other than the deer, I, I, I mean, just the, the roadkill has disappeared off the roads. I honestly don't know. Am I the only one? Uh, am I imagining this? Uh, I mean, I, I haven't seen a, a squirrel 
in no, not a squirrel, not a possum, not a raccoon, not a rabbit. As I say, right when I started this rant, might or might not have been the first skunk. Uh, I, I, I just know, I, I know damn well, guys, uh, 30 years ago, if you had left Chickamauga, Georgia, uh, on this beautiful, what is it, 81 degree spring day, uh, that uh, you would be dodging the roadkill and your windshield would just would be splattered with bugs. You know, you know growing up, it just, you know, I grew up uh, in Georgia and uh, starting up, you know, in the springtime every year that you literally had to, you know, hose out the grill of your radiator. You know, when you filled up your gas, it's just something you did. You, uh, you got a high pressure hose and you sprayed off the front of your radiator grill because it would be so clogged with uh, insects that your engine would overheat. It couldn't get any air through the grill of your radiator because uh, the hundreds of bugs that every radiator uh, in the Deep South had back, as I recall, in the 60s and 70s. Uh, cannot remember the last time I ever... Uh, when was the last time I had to get a hose and sp spray off my radiator? I've certainly never done that on this truck. Uh, but this thing with the roadkill, uh, I seem to be the only person talking about it. Uh, maybe, maybe I am imagining that uh, I have seen no sign of a fellow earthling dead in the dead in the road man it is still a spectacularly gorgeous day in this biological desert I don't know what river I am is this maybe this is the Hiawassee River this gorgeous white water trout stream. Uh, these North Carolina trout streams, I honestly don't know what kind of shape the trout are in in the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, now, <clears throat> I'm thinking I should be getting into what used to be the the Hemlock Forest. I'm coming into Highlands, North Carolina on US 64. I'm thinking when I was a kid that this was, uh, you know, that hemlocks were getting more and more common through here. So pretty much I've heard that virtually 100% of the hemlock trees uh, are, are gone in uh, North Carolina and Tennessee, you know, in the Smoky Mountains that these uh, thousands and thousands of acres of hemlock groves uh, have already gone down the tubes. So I don't know if these hemlock trees are just so, have been dead for so many years I don't even see any signs of the freshly dead hemlock trees. Uh, I see the white pines are still hanging on. Uh, somehow the, these are white pines through here. Somehow the white pines looking somewhat okay. I was just reading, uh, you know, in the mainstream media today. Uh, didn't have time 
to do a rant on it. I guess that there is this new study out, this brand new study was mentioned, actually mentioned on the mainstream media, shockingly enough, uh, about the newest biodiversity collapse study. I think it might be in Science Magazine, uh, how the, you know, the collapse of our fellow earthlings is uh, happening much faster than previously thought that, uh, what, what, I wish, uh, obviously I don't have the article in front of me, uh, that the global biodiversity collapse is, uh, ramping up and heading into overdrive faster than previously thought. As every joke attempt to stem the loss of biodiversity is failing on every single level. And uh, I don't know if there's any if there's any link between this new scientific study uh, and the fact that there's no bugs on my windshield or roadkill in the road. And I remember coming along, driving, well, driving or riding along this beautiful stretch of road in Highlands, North Carolina. We used to come up here when I was a kid from Atlanta. So it looks, uh, if you don't count the hemlock trees, if you don't count the hemlock trees and the bugs on the windshield and the roadkill in the road, uh, not counting those three little uh, items, uh, it looks pretty much like it did you know 50 years ago so a you know a child uh, traveling this road now would see you know would see nothing wrong it looks absolutely beautiful uh, <laughs> you know with each generation being born on this planet uh, it's just more and more normal uh, that uh, pretty much this planet uh, has become a biological desert, uh, but not having any, you know, life history to compare the before and after to, uh, you know, kids coming up today, assuming they ever get their faces out of their, you know, their little Game Boys, or whatever they have going in the back seat, uh, or their virtual reality glasses, who, you know, you look around, and it's just another gorgeous spring day on the planet. Who needs those pesky bugs? Anyway, I highly... Now this... You know, I, it's hard to tell at some point, you know, which are just deciduous trees that don't have their leaves on them and which are dead trees. Now, I think this looks like those are clearly big dead trees in there. I'm guessing these... Uh, big, just, I mean, totally dead tree trunks that I'm passing through now uh, are what's left of the beautiful hemlock forest that used to uh, be through here. Yeah, it's what I, I'm assuming without, you know, stopping the truck and really getting out there and 
and seeing if I can figure out but at least I'm glad to see the white pines still hanging on see here's a uh, the skeleton yeah okay this is probably the skeletons of hemlock trees so at least I got to enjoy the hemlock trees of the southern Appalachians when I was a kid and uh, they're still hanging on in New York State so my uh, the siding for my outhouses should be safe and that the Amish hemlock sawmills ought to be going strong so the Amish can keep cutting down the hemlock trees while they still can. I'm not sure what this is. Must be some beautiful waterfall over there. All right. I'm going to get back to uh, chronicling the collapse of the southern Appalachians on this gorgeous day while there's still something left to chronicle the collapse of. This is the Nantahala National Forest, by the way. The Nantahala National Forest. So you can Google Hemlock Hemlock Death in the Nantahala National Forest. So this is the Nantahala River, that's right, that I'm going alongside. The still beautiful Nantahala River in North Carolina. And the dogwoods are still blooming. Still got the dogwood trees hanging on. Oh, they still can. Bye, guys.